Okay, start over. Okay, now. All right, go ahead. You're All officially right. videoing now. We're officially videoing now. Okay, Lee, this is your gearbox. We're just doing an initial inspection after pulling the cover off. If you look here, you can see this is the synchro ring, and this is what it mates up against, and there should be a nice wide gap between the two, like there is on this one. And the fact that these are touching indicates that the synchro is worn out. It's pretty close to worn out on this end, and I think this one down here is also pretty close. And then another issue is we should not be able to move this gear up and down, because that gear should be shimmed with no tolerance as it's assembled. You can see the whole synchro cluster and everything is moving. If you look up here, you can see it's even wiggling the... When I wiggle down at the gear, it's moving the input shaft. So we've got a lot of looseness in the gearbox, which means that the shims are worn. It was also filled with 90 weight gear oil, which is not what it should have been filled with. It should have been filled with ATF. So I don't know if that helped or hurt. Well, the reason for that is the uh, main... The, this entire shaft, all these gears run on needle bearings. All, all these all these gears here. Right. Let me see, I have to, have to videotape and coordinate my yeah. screwdriver. Anyway, they all run on needle bearings about the diameter of a number two pencil lead or a little bit bigger. And the 90 weight gear oil, uh, which you can smell, just it stinks, uh, is just too viscous. The ATF is designed to is be thin enough to... And the gearbox is designed to have the thin viscosity of the ATF be able to penetrate into all the bearings and keep them lubricated and the thick gear oil why it's great for the actual gears uh, unfortunately can't always migrate its way into the needle bearings and therefore the needle bearings wear out and right. that causes a lot of a lot, lot of different play a lot of wear so we're gonna have to pull it completely apart and do a full-on inspection okay that's it thank you